this question is really hard. 22 is the last question on the paper. This is one of the hardest questions I've seen on the GCSE paper. Um, it's really tricky to kind of understand what's going on. Um, there's a couple of ways you can show it. There's a couple of ways that involve some maths that are beyond GCSE. There's one that's really complicated and I won't be able to fit in this space. Um, but there is a slightly more straightforward one, but it's hard to spot, so we'll go through it. We know that the, the triangle on top, the AXB, is equal to AYB on the bottom. That's what we know. So the very first thing we can do is um, we know that the areas are the same and they share this AB. So as AB is shared, and areas of triangles are equal, uh, they must have the same perpendicular height. Okay? Okay, so if we just draw that on, if we draw this perpendicular height on, uh, let's just draw it on here. So if we draw a straight down height there, perpendicular to AB is straight down, and a straight one up there, we know those heights must be the same. Okay? Now, because of the areas and because they share this side, they must have, how do you find the area of a triangle? So the area is half times base times perpendicular height. So if we know the area is the same and the base is going to be the, is the same, then we know this height is also going to be the same. So what we've done is we've created two right angle triangles. So we know that this is the same length as this. Okay. Um, and so we can show, well, we also know that this, uh, we know that angle XMB is equal to AMB because uh, they are vertically opposite. They're vertically opposite angles. Okay. They've both got a 90 degree, and that also tells us, that if I just switch colours, that this angle red up here must be the same as this angle here, because it's 180 minus 90 minus this. So, we know that uh, the red angles uh, so let's call this AB, let's call that C that D there. So the red angles uh, MXD, MXC is equal to MYD. Okay, and so what we've got now is, if that's true, we've got uh, an angle, a side, an angle. So we've got angle side or angle congruency, okay? So therefore, uh, triangle XCM is congruent to uh, YDM, so to triangle YDM. And the reason why we've got, well, we could do a couple of ones, we've got uh, angle side, angle there. Okay. So if they're congruent, then the hypotenuse must be also so. So therefore, the, tri uh, the hypotenuse must also be the same if they're congruent trials. Therefore, XM is equal to uh, YM, and that's the... Uh, as both hypotenuse lengths. And if that's true, we can then say that uh, um, 
So we've given the term as proof that xy is bisected by ab. Therefore, uh, as they're the same length, this side, this length here, is the same as this length here, that must be halfway, therefore xy is bisected by AD. Okay, and then that the proof finished as required. That's really tricky that question. So I'll go back over it again, have a look, follow it and see what I've done. Um, but yeah, it's really, really tricky. So I wouldn't worry too much about that question, but this is this is how you get marks for it.